6 in the morning, and today's the day I'm going to leave. Before I leave Magna, I just want to do a quick run. Get some good exercise in before I sit around for 21 hours. So, let's go. Alright. So, part of my heavy breathing was just running, but on my way... I found this. This is where I did my first haunted house. It was in this pavilion. All these tables that you see underneath it, we just took those out and put walls all the way around this and built on the inside of it. So, in a way, this is kind of where it all began. This is really the place where I really decided that I wanted to do haunted houses for the rest of my life. By haunted house. All right, good run. Everything's packed in the car. I just said bye to the family, and I was taking off. But before I completely leave on my trip, there's one last friend that I want to go say bye to. His name's Andrew Omen. He's been a really good friend to me and an amazing mentor. Um, a while back ago, I did an internship for his company, which is a digital marketing company, and it was one of the coolest things I've ever done. I learned a ton and met a ton of really cool people. So before I leave, I just wanted to go say bye to him, get some good vibes from him, <laughs> and yeah. I'm here with Andrew, this is him, this is the buddy man. Yes, he's following his dreams. <laughs> Dude, this guy's so cool. He's Best mentor I've ever had. My man. Follow it. Go get it. All you watchers out there, follow those dreams too. Wish him luck. Send him the good vibes. <laughs> Dude, this guy's crazy. He's doing like a huge deal right now. We're like in, we're in like the Deseret News building. I don't know how much I can say, but they're doing something big. Yeah, we had to take a little time out and bring him in. But uh, yeah, show him what's up. And then we'll, uh, we'll take off. So you see those guys over there? Tell them what's going on with them. Just people are following their passions, following their dreams, man. Um, <clears throat> we have over 400 hours of footage of amazing interviews from rock stars all over the world, truly like rock stars. And we're figuring out how to share these beautiful, intimate messages with the world. And it's more than rock and roll. It's talking about the heart and soul. So what you're having is two other people who have each found their passion, found their dream, and, and who are structuring it. So I wanted Jason to come over today before he left and look at other people and say, Look, they started there too, and now we're structuring a tens of millions of dollars deal eventually, and um, this is the start of that. So the man in the hat, if you turn around, has 400 hours of footage with rock stars. The man in the shirt and tie has syndication and traffic of over 110 million eyeballs a month, and I've thrown this party for them so that we can share this with the world. So. Lots of fun is happening. Good luck. Right on, man. Yeah, so I didn't even realize that he, we were going to meet here at the KSL Deseret News building, but we were, and he was just hanging out with these, like, huge guys. I was like, oh, my gosh. It's like, dude, you have to come meet these guys. So I went in there, and I talked to them. They're like, man, follow your dream. So that's what I'm doing, following my dream. And, yeah, Andrew's so cool. Love that guy. All right, so I'm just putting some gas in my car, and... I'm going. I am a honeybee, shined out from the colony. They won't let me in. So I left the hive, they took away all my stripes. Bro.
So I found myself a little friend. His name is Poncho. That's right. Hey, come here. You want a cracker? What? What? There. No? I'll just see. He's out. He doesn't get hit by a car. It's midnight, and I'm gonna go to bed now. I have no idea where I am. I think I'm somewhere in New Mexico. So, good night. Alright, it's 5 in the morning, 5.30, and I just got ready, changed my clothes. I have some breakfast, and then we are off for the day. Alright, so I saw a sign that said that the grave of Billy the Kid was around here, and so I followed it. Look how old that is. It's just like a block of wood. It's just like been cut into with like a knife or something. This grave has coins all over it. You know, I bet there's probably like some pretty good ghost stories about this graveyard. I haven't found Billy the Kid yet. I think that's some over there in that fenced off area. There it is right there. I'll come Billy the Kid. Even if it he died in 1881. Look at this. I just found a real haunted house. I don't really know if it's haunted, but it's freaking cool. Gosh, this is crazy. I think I should probably be okay to step on the floor. I doubt there's a basement. Yeah, there's no basement. Wow, this is pretty cool. Oh, this is a church. picked like the sketchiest gas station to come to. It's got a nice little condom dispenser. Alright, so I'm getting pretty close now. I think I'm about two and a half hours away from Austin. Sometimes I get a little nervous about what I'm doing, but there was a bunch of study done, a hospital study actually, where they asked a bunch of elderly people what they regretted, and almost all of them just got into Austin and it is amazing oh my gosh it's like every building is so beautiful and it's just like has like this artistic flair to it and the trees are just like here let me show you the, it's just so green here like everything is so green and I know why now after I got out of my car it is ridiculously humid here and I knew it was gonna be humid but I've never experienced it before so when I got out of the car, I was just like, oh my gosh, but it's actually not that hot. It's just the humidity makes it feel a lot hotter because you feel like you're sweating all the time. But I am so excited to show you guys like a mini tour in the next day or two of Austin, Texas. It is amazing. And I'm so excited that I'm going to be living here. All right, so now I'm going to head over to the House of Torment. I don't think anybody's gonna be there because it's a Sunday and it's like six o'clock. So 
But I'm gonna go over there just so I know where it is, check it out. Maybe somebody will be there. If they are, I'll talk to them. all the way from Salt Lake City and that I came here to work for him and I was living out of my car and he was just kind of like what the hell? He basically said that they're all filled up in all their jobs and everything's like already like somebody's already gonna do it and so he said to come in tomorrow and meet a bunch of people that work there a lot of the managers and artisans and whatnot and so I'm gonna do that and of course it's like any business when somebody new comes in We already have people doing those jobs, like we don't need you to do it. But I'm gonna do it. The thing is, you have to be so freaking persistent. Like you can't just ask if you can do something and then they say no and you're like, oh, okay, like you just have to keep asking and asking and asking. So that was pretty easy that they're letting me come in and probably gonna let me work there, do something there. show up there tomorrow at 9, well probably even earlier because I'm planning on sleeping in their parking lot. <laughs> and so I'm going to show up there and now I'm going to go and find somewhere to eat because I'm freaking starving. And then I'm going to spend the rest of the night wherever I am eating, editing this vlog. So thanks for watching guys and that's the end of today's episode.